Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a new vlog. Today, we are hopefully going to successfully put my new wardrobes together. I'm so excited. I am literally so, so excited for this. I didn't think I'd be that excited because putting flat pack furniture together is not my idea of a good time. So all this week, I've just kind of been like, mm. I'm going to spend my weekend doing that, but I'm actually so excited to get started. I mean, I'm probably going to regret it after about 15 minutes, maybe less, but I am just so excited to have actual storage, like actual storage that I can put my clothes in and hopefully have the room that I keep my clothes in at the moment being more of a functional space. And I'm really glad actually that I waited. So I have been in this house for, it will be a year. I think like May time, the end of May. And I'm really glad actually that I didn't kind of go straight in with that room and do it all straight away because I think I would have, number one, spent a lot more. I think being without wardrobes for the best part of like 10 months has given me real perspective on I don't care if they're not the prettiest wardrobes. I really don't care. I literally just need a functional storage space and just to have that room be a bit more of a like nice space to go into at the moment. It's kind of one of those, it's a mess, so I'm just gonna shut the door and pretend that room doesn't exist kind of vibes. Hello. Hello. Bring our bagels. 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 Mm, my hero has arrived to help me with wardrobe saga. <laughs> hopefully. hopefully. I, I literally said the exact same thing. I was like, hopefully we're going to be successful today. <laughs> Ryan is just amazing at putting shoes together, so I feel good about this. DIY ride back in the game. Gunstrap. Yeah. So these wardrobes were actually gifted to me by Habitat as part of a Instagram partnership. But I thought I'd vlog this process anyway because I know you guys want to see the before and after kind of shenanigans. So this is the style of wardrobe that we've gone for. There are two of this and then one of this in the middle. So this is a mirror. I'll put a little picture of what it's supposed to look like on screen. But it's the Munich bedroom set. It's very affordable. You can see all the different ways that you can like piece it together here. I am just so excited to get this. It was really affordable. I think I might have it boxed in because the sides are wood and then the front is white and then obviously we've got one single mirrored bit in the middle. It's actually a really lovely like oak tone. You like it don't you? Yeah I really like it. Yeah this is the angle that I see where I'm from every day. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this. And then the inside, almost fell over going up. The inside is like this linen, it's wobbling, it's really scaring me. This linen look, but it's not actually a linen texture. But I really like that because it's quite like a trend at the moment to have like linen insides to your wardrobe. So I thought that was kind of cool that it had that. But as you can see, it's like got all the holes in it so you can completely customize like where your rail goes, where your drawers fix in, where shelves fix in. So I've got extra shelves and drawers as well to go in this. I'm 
You sure this is going to be big enough? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm going to start with less, and if I need to bring it down, then I will. Ideally, I want to get two rails in here. And then also there's the extra drawers that I've ordered for the bottom. If I wasn't having the drawers, I would bring that down and have the rails lower. human being coming at you today i don't know why building the wardrobe just today really worked us out my back muscles hurt the most and i think it's from ripping up like all of the cardboard i had to make it fit into like obviously domestic recycling and i was literally ripping up huge pieces of cardboards into like tiny pieces so that they would actually like fit in the bins we literally had the longest sleep last night and were so so tired this morning but i've just been for a nice long walk and i'm ready to make a start on organizing the wardrobes today we still have the drawers to put together and fit i might have a go at that myself but i wasn't sure whether to leave this until tomorrow but i've just decided like i'm in the mood for some organizing so i'm gonna see how much of my clothing i can get into the wardrobes which will be interesting i have kind of approached this with this is a starting point and i don't know if i'm going to need more storage but i'd rather start off with like a good starting point like i feel like a five door wardrobe is a good starting point and then i will add more if i need i feel like there might still be a need for bag and shoe storage if i can fit my bags at least in the shelving in the wardrobe that would be goals but we're just gonna see how we get on and if I need that shelving for like knitwear that is also fine this is my outfit for today very comfy this is from nasty girl if you'd seen I think my last or maybe the one before you will have seen this just like a really nice stretchy kind of bodycon dress I'm really bloaty at the moment so I'm not sure that it's doing me the most favors but I just wanted to wear something really comfortable and it's very warm today my house is very very warm so I thought this would be ideal for like an afternoon organizing I have my jewel slippers that I got from John Lewis which match the dress actually to my eye they match really well but on camera they're coming up slightly different and then i've just got my astrid Amu jewelry and then Raimi collection amal earrings and again slick back bun because my hair is at a really awkward length at the moment it's also got like a, a tiny bit of blonde like left on the ends but it's looking a bit ropey at the moment i'm just kind of slicking it all back i might potentially just have all the blonde cut out we'll see i don't really know what we're gonna do with it when i finally get a hair appointment i still need to book that like, i feel like everyone else has booked their april 12th hair appointments i have not so we are in the wardrobe room i'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on camera but this is just such a dark room i actually really can't stand this room i can't wait to eventually turn this into like a big stairwell i think it would make an amazing stairwell i just it's just not an amazing bedroom or even like a wardrobe room for what I do. I would love a really light, bright space. This was one of the rooms that always kind of niggled me about the house from the first viewing. This was the room that really stuck in my mind of like, mm, not sure about that room. I wanted to go for like white wardrobes to brighten up the space. And then also I opted for the middle to be a mirror. Number one in terms of practicality work-wise, but also it helps to bounce light around. I really love mirrors for that. It's one of the reasons that I have so many mirrors in my house, like literally every room I swear has a mirror. Also to my left, I have my huge rail. I think this is a six foot rail, maybe longer. My aim today is to get this entire 
rail. <laughs> it keeps going. My aim is to get the entire rail into this wardrobe, which should be doable. I opted for a kind of double rail system and then I've got space for drawers at the bottom, which we just need to build in. So I think this side should be coats. The door is obviously on this side of the room. So coats would be something that I come in and frequently grab. So I'm gonna start with that. having tiny wrists. A lovely sunny day today let's look at this light Ooh. does this make anyone else really happy like just seeing a lot of light coming in through your windows or is this just me is this a uk human kind of thing let me know but yeah it's gorgeous weather today very springy i think it was like the first day of the first official day of spring at the weekend and i am so here for it i love the transitional seasons the past couple of years i've come to love spring even more and i'm celebrating with the springiest little outfit that i could get my hands on and still be warm because it's a bit chilly today but what a weekend that was oh my goodness i actually made that weekend 10 times harder for myself because every time i got hungry i would eat bread and my stomach was not having it so i actually like made the whole experience 10 times worse for myself but i didn't even really want to vlog in the end i just wanted to get that room done ryan was the same like he got up this morning and we still had the drawers to do they were on my list i hadn't even like asked him to help with them and he had said that he would do them but i was just like nope i will do them monday and he got up this morning he was like right i'm doing this <laughs> we both just really wanted that room to be done and i really cracked on with getting everything in the wardrobe yesterday and i was even more thorough than i originally planned to be like phase one was just meant to be get the wardrobes together throw everything in and kind of think about the organization later but i really went through everything kind of like had a clear out whilst i was putting things 
back in and the majority of things like went into storage and the loft they did all of that i vacuum sealed all the bags i don't have enough vacuum sealed bags and some of them have actually broken like the really old ones because they've been used so much so i need to order some more of those today and some more hangers because i have black velvet with rose gold wiring and then black velvet with gold wiring and it's really annoying me so yeah i need to do a big old amazon order and get that sorted but i'm feeling so good i'm on the last leg of phase one which is just like the last bits of kind of deciding what is going where we've got the depot rail ready i've got like some stuff for charity i've got a couple of home bits to sell i think on my depop as well I'm, i think they can go on depop just really thorough but i just found that i couldn't really talk to the camera my brain goes into one mode and it cannot come out i'm feeling really good this is probably a really boring chat but i felt like it was necessary to kind of round up the past couple of days and what i've been doing so i will show you around in there kind of show you how the end of phase one is looking phase two is to get my depop on which is tomorrow's task i'm literally going to go through the entire rail that i have and photograph every single item do all of the designer picks ready for that drop too oh yes i need to message the electrician today and see what the deal is with my light whether we can do it ourselves or like whether it's actually going to need hand then next week or the week after the curtains and curtain pole arrives which i'm so excited about because that just means that like there will just be more privacy in that room and i can like change in that room and stuff like that and i also think it will bounce the light around a little bit differently the room is actually looking amazing in there because the window is really small and it's right in the middle of the room but the white wardrobe doors are that much closer to the window so the light is like bouncing off of the wardrobe doors and it's already that much brighter which is so great and then phase four will be in summer i suspect when the ottoman arrives and i think my friend carla will come in she wants to do all of her like stuff all of her magic once the room is kind of looking more put together so phase four will be so exciting so yeah those are the phases but right now i'm like at the end of phase one beginning of phase two one of those phases may also involve the wardrobes being boxed in depending on how my conversations go with various different like people about the loft conversion i don't still don't know what to call it but yeah anyway i'll show you how things are looking for now are you ready I have to say the bag situation up the top is making me very happy so these are the wardrobes as they are at the moment these handles are going to be going black like a matte black because my ikea stall is matte black the curtain pole that's going to run along this wall is also going to be matte black exactly as the office is and the pendant is changing up here completely so this is going to be a matte black chandelier it's like a mini version of my current one in my bedroom yeah this is how it is looking on the inside i have to say these are very sturdy i am actually very impressed for the price point i didn't think they were going to be as like strong as they are but they're amazing so down here this is oh this is like phase two or phase three it will be there's a shelf that's going to be added in here which was out of stock when i placed my order and then i'm also going to order i saw this morning when i was looking and checking stock they do the light strips for the underneath of the shelving which is going to be amazing so i'm definitely going to order those but yeah as you can see we have my jackets and lighter coats i think i've resigned myself to the fact that my rail in my bedroom will be used for longer items so like long dress in the summer long coats in the winter because the thick heavy winter coats really are such a nightmare and i don't have like a cupboard under the stairs because obviously i don't have any stairs and i don't really have a big enough porch to have that kind of situation going on so until there is a cupboard under the stairs what i would love is for this area to be stairs and then almost like a boot storage coat storage area but until then i think the longer items will always have to be hung on like a separate rail because what i really didn't want was to use this middle section just for long things because the coats would immediately take up all the space in the winter like you get maybe two three coats in there it would be ridiculous but i really wanted somewhere to put all of my shoes this is very personal to me i don't think this works for everybody's lifestyle but for mine i find having my shoes in here tucked away because there are so many pairs of them but also in my eye line really useful for when i'm like putting outfits together for work so that's how the middle section is looking and i went for the mirrored door just to bounce a little bit more light and to also give this room a little bit of depth this is kind of just looking a little bit display like at the moment but i like that i like that there's room for more potential bags but over this side we have all of my bags that live in their duster bags i've got bags that i want to sell behind as well really i am going to end up with the little Givenchy antigona family and then probably like another five or six bags on top of that my aim is to have a really big clear out of them i just don't like not 
wearing all of them religiously and then down here we have the bulk of my wardrobe so everything from cardigans and light knit jumpers that like these little kind of like ribbed knits that aren't super basic i didn't want to keep them in a drawer anymore i actually made a decision this morning that they should live in here then we have my shirt jackets which will be in here until the end of spring and then i will probably put them into storage we've got all of my shirts which i just love so much we've got a couple of dresses here as well just sitting there getting ready for spring there are actually a couple i could probably archive that one until summer but it's long sleeves so i thought i'd leave it out just in case because the warm weather will turn up soon and below we have trousers and skirts and what i've tried to do here is if there are colds or there are things that i pair together very regularly what i've tried to do is have them almost in line with each other so my linen shirt here and my linen skirt here my sleeveless items and then some of my skirts my shirts and then some of my more like flare trousers my smart cigarette trousers go with all of the fine knits up the top obviously that'll change as we go into summer and i'll probably rejig all of this and pair different items together but that's just how it's looking for spring and all of those things i pair together really easily are like in line with each other so that i can get dressed the most efficiently and i love that but yeah down here i have the drawers so here we have cute loungewear and as you can see they're all like paired together which is really pleasing and then below we have lots of sweatshirts <laughs> i'm obsessed with sweatshirts i did have to have a bit of a clear out because some of them had definitely seen better days this drawer is really really pleasing to me and it fits so well because the drawers have a little bit of space between them you can actually get a little bit more in there and roll a little bit more than you thought you could and then down the bottom i have my box of belts and then i have hats and then behind that i actually have sunglasses the sunglasses will definitely not live there permanently one of the reasons i actually wanted the extra drawer in that wardrobe was because my dream is to just have a drawer of sunglasses but i'm just going to see how i get on and this will kind of be a work in progress i'll rejig it and it's good to learn all of this stuff and what i need and what really works for when the loft conversion you know like happens i will go whole hog and have a full like walk-in wardrobe built in there it doesn't even need to be a massive room but just like fully kitted out with all of the like swanky little details but this is like my road test for that so yeah feeling good can't wait for phase two that light <laughs> it's gotta go but this is my outfit that i'm wearing today this is a zara body it has no back so i've been waiting for spring <laughs> i was like today is the day i want to wear something knitted but cute and it doesn't have to be like super super warm but just a little bit warm this is like the perfect piece and then the trousers are from asos they're like a i want to say a faux linen but they're kind of thick so they almost look like a hybrid between trousers and jeans but yeah really happy with them it's nice to have a pair of trousers that i don't have to belt around the waist and really like hoist it in and then my slippers are just my absolute dream at the moment i'm enjoying wearing them so much but next on my list today i'm going to order my stuff off amazon get myself a coffee and then i'm going to get my wonder web out and my iron out and take up these trousers i tried them on this morning to gauge how much i needed to take them up basically about this much but yeah i love this cord if you watched my one of my last vlogs you will have seen this it is the dream and i can't wait to wear it on a daily basis but to do that i need to take these up because i don't want to be wearing heels with this all the time I really effed up the ironing in my house. I've just never been very good at it. But real like Paris Hilton vibes. Like if you don't want to do something, do it really badly so no one ever asks you to do it again. Because my mum never asked me to do it again. And because of that, I really don't know how to like do this. I don't know if that's right. I don't know how I'm going to sit this back down. But I'm going to roll with it. So consequently, because no one likes me touching an iron, I'm just not very good at it still. And I've become a much bigger fan of a steamer through my adult life because it's it's much harder to mess it up. Let's just say that. But basically, my point in telling you this is not to make myself sound like a bit of a lemon. It's to preface the fact that this could go very wrong. I don't even know. Like the last time I used an iron, I actually put a hole in my favourite dress. So I'm really not making myself sound that relatable. It's not not that I'm a princess, it's just that I'm an idiot. 
Is it even on? How do you know? It's on. I think it's on the minimum heat, which for my capabilities is safe. I need my dad. My dad always does the taking off. <laughs> successfully in one go. <laughs> so you can probably see one leg was slightly more successful than the other. One I did in just one fold, which was the second leg, and the first I did in a couple of folds, just purely from my own stupidity. I may unpick the first leg and redo it. I basically took them up to the length where I can wear them with a little heel and no belt, or I can wear them with flats and a belt underneath because the top that matches this actually hits right around here. And if I bring it up to my actual waist with the belt, it's kind of hidden underneath the matching top. So I have a couple of options. And this is what it's like if I am completely barefoot. everybody how are we all doing future Susie coming at you it's actually been quite a long time since i last vlogged for this vlog we fast forwarded about a week the uk has gone from chilly spring weather to experiencing a heat wave hence this outfit but i wanted to pop on here and show you how the wardrobe room is looking after phase one the new lighting like in full because i realized i don't really think i showed you it just kind of showed you me putting it together and that was a faff I officially, I said it after the last chandelier, but I'm like committed to it after the second. Never again, never again. They are a lot of hard work. But yeah, let me show you how we are looking. Let's round this up. This is how things are looking. It's a really nice sunny day. And I've also waited until the time of day where the sun starts coming through this window. This room is the last room to get light like right at the end of the day. But when it does shine in, it is so lovely. So this is the new light it is so lovely i probably need to redo a few of these the spacing isn't quite right but it's still lovely and i really like the fact that when you come out of this room and walk into this room which you can see does not get a lot of light this time of day they almost mirror each other and that's really nice and then the living room and office at the front also mirror each other in terms of the lighting too but yeah i'm enjoying this room so much i love having a place for all of my things we're making great progress with depop it doesn't look like it but there's actually been a whole new load of stuff when i moved last year i archived so many things so it's just going to keep on coming <laughs> obviously we're in lockdown for such a huge chunk of last year like what was it nine months so i just didn't it was more than nine months wasn't it god i just didn't have any help with the depop clearing out process so i there's a lot coming i will link my depop if i haven't said that already but we did a big drop last friday it went so well it went so smoothly i'm so happy so i'm hoping that very soon we'll be able to downsize this rail to a smaller cuter rail and then i can make a start on this as well and sort this storage out because i would love space for my boots because i can fit all my heels in here 
but not all of my boots. I also had a bag clear out, you guys. 30th of April, I can't remember if I've already said in this vlog, 30th of April, the designer drop is coming. So we've got Gucci, Chloe, Valentino shoes, Balmain boots, all the sunglasses. There's gonna be so many sunglasses. Everything in the designer drop is basically things that I haven't worn for a really long time. There's actually some like more recent purchases that I think later in the year might drop. I kind of wanna wait for when we're out of lockdown because there's some things I obviously haven't worn for so long but can't tell if that's because we've been in lockdown so i need to hang on to them a bit longer and just kind of see how it goes there's a balenciaga that i'm thinking of selling i'm gonna see how i get on with the porsche matisse but i don't know i'm feeling a bit weird about it at the moment so i'm gonna see it could be a phase it could be a phase. I'll see how I go, but there's also another reason that I decided to clear out more bags than originally planned. And I will share that with you in an upcoming video because I can't talk about it right now. So going away from my spendy habits, I'm actually really happy with how I've managed to keep this wardrobe. I've also been trying to keep some of the arms turned in because when I was filming last week and I showed you this bit, all of the sleeves were like falling directly down and it was looking a little bit messy. So I've been trying to keep them like turned in slightly, but it's proving a little bit tricky. So still very much need Carla's help because she's just the professional when it comes to organizing a wardrobe. One day I'll get there. One day. I can also confirm that after successfully having wonderwebbed one pair of trousers, I've now done it to several pairs of trousers and I now have a brand new pair of trousers that need wonderwebbing. You'll see these in an upcoming haul if you haven't already seen them on my Instagram. I'm obsessed with them, but they are so long. But that's going to be my final wardrobe update for a while until the curtains are in, which I'm so excited for. It's going to look gorgeous. And hopefully around that time as well, this rail will be a lot smaller slash non-existent and it's all going to be so minimal and so beautiful. That is it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed building and organizing my wardrobe with me and I will see you guys again very, very soon. I've got some vlogs coming up that I'm so excited to film. So I will be back again filming tomorrow morning. So I'm really excited to see you all in my next one. I am gonna go now. Love you, bye.